I'm going to tell you today how to make biodegradable newspaper pots. They are economical, they are good for the environment because they are biodegradable and your plants will love you for it because it's very easy to transplant, you don't need to remove it, you just put it in the ground as it is. So all you need to do is decide how big your pot is. So if you want to make a pot this size, I like to have it for peppers, tomatoes and eggplants. You need 14 ounces or so can. You also can make a smaller pot like this for something I like to grow my basil in it or parsley or something that doesn't need to be grown for prolonged periods of time indoors. So I would use a smaller can. So let's start. We have our can, we have our newspaper. So let's turn the bad news into good news. So here we have it. What you need to keep in mind for the size is that you don't want to have too many layers around your, your can because that, so you just want maybe a couple. I have three in here, that's perfectly fine. And also what you need to do is, for deciding the size of newspaper to use is that you need to Keep in mind that you need to have your, you know, how tall your pot is going to be and also you need to leave a couple inches, inch and a half for your bottom. So that's what you need to decide. It happens to be that this is just the perfect size. If I tear this paper in half, you can also use scissors to cut it. So here we have it. And I'm going to start rolling. So when you roll, please don't roll too tight because then it's going to be very difficult to remove the can out of the pot. So you just don't push too hard when you do it. Find the edge and pull it in like this. And so do the opposite, pull it in too. And then there's one and another one. So now we have a nice bottom. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's gonna hold up. And you put it on a table and press hard to help it form, form the bottom. And then I just find some sort of corner and pull. And here you have it. It's that simple. Kids love to do it. And I mean, it's not perfect, of course, but it doesn't have to be. So you're just going to put your dirt in here. And yes, the bottom is not, uh, doesn't hold itself, but when you're going to have the weight of the dirt, it's going to be fine. So some people use staplers here and here. No, don't do that because then the staplers are going to end up in your dirt and in your fingers. That's not good. One other thing you need to pay attention to is that you can't just put it on your table because the water is going to come out, of course. So you need to find something, uh, an old plate, or this is, um, this is um, from, from store. Something to put your pots on so that it catch, catches, the, catches the water that coming out. And that's all you need to do. Free, biodegradable, plants love it, I love it, and I hope you're going to enjoy it as well.